I would like to thank all our fine sponsors who will bring you the uh, Wheel of Games, Joe Rapaki, CPA, Cam Appliance, Killen Real Estate, Lindsay Incorporated, Matica Marine, Martin Bork Painting, Nantucket Air Alliance, Nantucket Boost Club, Nantucket Civic League, Nantucket Electric, Nantucket Insurance, Rick's Paint and Maintenance, Santa's Rubbish Removal, Seagrill Sign here, ACK Screen and Window Repair, Atterglance Window Treatments, BPC Architect, Brock Insurance, Cognitive Showman Insurance, David Goodman Tiling, Don Allen Ford, Fairgrounds Restaurant, Furry Friends of Nantucket, Harborview Oil Corporation, Humphrey Electric, Fire and Mirror, Island Carpets, Island Lumber, Island Pharmacy, Island Variety. We thank all those fine sponsors. And uh, so over to Bo now for some uh, first half stats. Well, high score for Nantucket. We have uh, Will Ferreira. He's got seven points. And uh, Terrell Career, he has two, four, six points. And Nantucket outscored Mashby in that second quarter, 19 to 11. That's, that's big. That's builds on the four-point lead. Who, who, who do we got to keep an eye on for Mashby? Who's, uh... Uh, Cody Hendricks um, did a great job by the second half. He's got, uh, let's see, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Wow, he's, 14. Worth, uh, he's got more than half their points, though, 14 out of the 23. So, uh, you know, if you're uh, Will for, uh, Willis Ferreira at, at halftime, you say, you know, we can put a little... Uh, Lock on him, uh, we can stay in this game. Yeah, just a little more pressure on him, like you said. Um, but Nantucket's just uh, beating him on the glass, both offensively and defensively. And Nantucket with the four point lead uh, has the uh, arrow in their favor, so has the ball to start the second half. Well, that's 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 it. Right now, you know. Nice pass nice inside. Pass. Oh, what a beautiful pass! Chavez, nice pass into Terrell. That was huge to uh, to have that play set up and and have it work. Yeah, he just threaded the needle on that one. And uh, again, good job by Terrell posting up. Halford with a rebound, defensive rebounds. That's the key. Uh, uh, that's my key. Limit uh, Mashby to one shot. And you will, you will stay in this game if you can limit Another nice pass. Shot. Double team. Looks for the open man. Will there. Halford there. Push. Gets pushed. Still nice wow. oh, nice really hustle on the glass. They're we had really Halford, Ferreira, Terrell on the glass. Really hustling on that board. Mashby's first time out. We got an injury. Looks like his thumb is dislocated. I was wondering how uh, Mashby could get the timeout. Willis doesn't agree with it. He, uh, his man had his man had an open jump shot there, and uh, he didn't like the fact that the Mashby coach got the timeout called. I don't blame him. I, I could see if the kid is laying on the floor out of it, but the kid is running up the court, and uh, he could have finished that sequence and, and played the uh, played defense. Sometimes Terrell just has got to take his time, grab the ball, make a couple of fakes, and then pass it easy. Yeah. That's, a, that's, a, that's a turnover. Yeah, he, uh, he decided he was going to half dribble it, and then in the middle of it, he decides he's going to pass it, and it was a lazy pass. You can't make lazy passes against a good team. Right now, the coach is uh, getting a little bit nervous here, Bo. He feels that some of his kids are you know, playing some uh, backyard basketball, not team basketball right now. You gotta get that ball up over your head, Terrell. Nice shot, nice yes. shot. Terrell is uh, controlling underneath there. That's huge for the Whalers. When he does that, they're gonna stay in any game. It's a deep three. Travel. 
I thought they should have had him over the back to begin with. He got away with that one, but yep. uh, as he started to uh, go to the hoop, he took an extra step there. Mashby's going back to man to man. They were in a zone, now they're going back to man. Nice block. Got hit, got, got hit in the head. He's, he's fine. I think he's more or less. Uh, the official, Willis is asking for a foul, and the official saying, I seen him hit the ball, nothing else. <laughs> he must, the, imagine, the imaginary player must have hit him. Brian the pass is going to get himself in the game. All of a sudden, all of a sudden the trainer here is uh, busy going from bench to bench as back-to-back uh, -back injuries, one on each team. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is he got, he got an elbow to the head, to the back of the head. Nice rebound to pass. And he does what you said there. does a good job of waiting for the people to clear. Oh, another lazy Turnover. pass. Yep. Yeah, that lazy pass. Nice move. Yeah. He's the guy. Another nice pass inside. Stay with it, Terrell. Forever get in there among the big guys and gets uh, called for, a, I think they called it a jump ball. So Is that arrow, a jump ball? I think it was jump ball. So arrow to uh, mash P on that one. Head up, go hard, head up, head up. You got used to this, you got used to this on the corner. That's the way to go strong now, way to go yeah. strong. Yeah, I would have liked to have seen the pass in that. You were calling it all the way. Nice pass. Nice pass. Nice pass, Beautiful Carlos. Pass. Carlos, yeah, woo. That's a perfect pass. Carlos showed good court awareness on that. Yeah, beautiful. Over the back. So Terrell avoids a foul, but uh, Mashby comes back and uh, goes over the back there. And Will calls his first time out. So Nantucket calls, I think, a 30-second time out there. Condon and Coleman Insurance, specialized in personal commercial lines of insurance, auto, home, marine, business. Condon and Coleman established 1931. They're down at 57 uh, Main Street. And uh, Gino uh, is telling us we have, what, 25,000 hits? 2,500 views. 2,500 views last month on uh, GinoTV.com. Remember, you can check out this game or all the other games, including this week's hockey game by going to GinoTV.com and uh, check, check out. We had 12,000 minutes, viewable minutes. 12,000 12, viewable minutes on Gino99 TV, checking out uh, a lot of the sporting events. And uh, during the winter, we cover uh, boys and girls basketball, ice hockey, and swimming. So. Check it out, go to your TV 99, check it out. As we said, you go to your computer and go to genotv.com and check it out. With me tonight, Bo is filling in for uh, Coach Cameron, who's over in the mainland. He's probably he's probably at a Chinese restaurant over there right now, enjoying himself. Over in- uh, Oh, Dragon Light, yeah. Dragon Light over there in Hyann, that's Mr. <laughs> Karen. Another lazy pass. Oh, travel. A lot of the times when Terrell catches that ball, he's got to go up. He's got, he's got to be above his head. Sometimes he brings it down below his chin, and it's easily stolen Yeah. by guard. You keep it up above your head, those little guys aren't going to get anywhere near it. Or if they do try to get near it, it's going to be a foul because they're going to be slapping his arms and his elbows and whatever. So he's going to do a better job protecting the basketball by keeping it up high. Hey, Fazaro's in. Last time he got some good looks. Here's another good look. Good follow. 
And Terrell, yes. nice job. Excellent follow up there. Then you got the shooter's roll. That's a big bucket right there. Nantucket up by 10. Nantucket's in the zone, one, two, two zone. Yeah, they're forcing uh, Mashby to make some outside shots, which they haven't done yet today. And there they make one. Brian's got to get out there. Yeah. Is that a three? That's a three. If you stay in the zone, you got to rotate quickly, and you can't give that outside easy one like that. Yes, the Antucket answers with a three. And that's Riley Fasaro again. Riley, yeah. He's had some good looks today. If he gets hot, that would be unbelievable. Yeah. The if Riley gets... Fasaro with a rebound. Yeah. He's got a nice stroke. I like his form and stroke. Chavez going hard to the basket. And he'll get himself to the free throw line. So right now, the Wheelers are doing it on both ends of the court. Free throws coming up, brought to us by Island Variety. Your source for back to school supplies, party supplies. Valentine's coming up, get your Valentine's cans and candy in cards at Island Variety, One Freedom Square. <laughs> Remember the Booster Club, Booster Club raises money for uh, all of the sporting teams. They, uh, they pay the visiting, uh, they pay for the food for the visiting teams. They'll be buying pizzas tonight for... Uh, Good uh, hustle, Master. Brian. Good hustle by Brian. Boy, sometimes you get away with that travel if you just lay there and try to make the pass. He called it right away. Big bucket there. Yeah, nice nice strong move. Cody Hendricks. Fasaro, nice look inside for Fasaro. That's a foul. Ah, Terrell loses it. Yeah. I thought he had him with the body, but uh, they're going to say he bounced it off his uh, leg out of bounds. I think he had a forearm back in back his back. You wonder why Mashby's rolling the ball up like that. They're just trying to. Uh, Save the clock. Oh, that was a nice move. Oh. A little behind the back, but. Well, they do get a jump ball out of it. I thought they might have got Riley for holding there, but they do get a jump ball out of it, so they're going to hang on to it. Up by nine. Got a chance to add to that lead right here. Nice pass. Oh. Nice block. Travel there. They missed the early travel, and then all of a sudden, uh, Mashby gets three straight offensive boards. No waiting for your prescription refills. Phone ahead with your prescription refill numbers and Island Pharmacy will have them ready for you. Nobody does it better. Island Pharmacy, that special number is 228-6416. Ooh, over the back. Missed two over the back, and then he loses it. So movement on the bench here as the uh, Mashpee JV team gets uh, ready to go in and uh, change. We have a JV game uh, coming up after the varsity game. Turnover. That's a foul. Terrell. That's the way to keep it over your head, Terrell. That's what you're talking about, boy. You keep the ball over your head. The only way they can get it away from is following you. And uh, they did that. 
That's three on Nikita, the big guy, four. He's got three. Yeah. Yeah, they mixed, they weren't sure if it was number four is third or number three is four. Okay, 107 to go here. The score's been locked at this 39-30 for a long time. Nantucket will take that. Oh, got him with a reach, got him with yeah. a reach. She went hard in the basket. Yeah. That's always happens. So he's going to get himself two. I just don't think Mass can hit. They're they're not they're not uh, on fire right now, Gino. But you 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 got to be careful with a team like this here because a team like this here can hit three in a row and and bring you right back in a hurry. And he makes his first. These free throws brought to us by Fairgrounds. Relaxed setting, comfortable, affordable food. Open year round for Nantucket is the Fairgrounds. Wednesday night, Gino, you know, they have the barbecue combo ribs and chicken at the fairgrounds. That's Chavez's three for three for free throw from the free throw line. So Nantucket has a double digit lead, first one tonight. Turnover. Ooh. Ooh, we got away with a slap there. Good rebound. Now the turnover. It's three those, turnovers those, in a row. Those, pa those passes are horrible. Horrible throwing them into the middle like that. Coach Willis Ferreira is telling Chavez he's got to do a little more dribbling before he makes that pass. Let's see if, see if Mash P. Uh, Oh. Halford. Halford got called for that one. So That's his Mashby, first foul. Mashby will get himself to the free throw line. Near Tucker Airlines, we're all about the islands. Calling out for reservations. 228-6234. And Nantucket, uh, if this shot is missed, they really got to get this rebound here because there's only 10 seconds left in the period. You don't want to give Mashby a second chance opportunity. And not only that, you don't want to turn the ball over. You want to get a good shot here. Mashby's in a press. You got a 2-1, two, 2-2 two, two press. Take your time. You got five seconds. We're Jack. in a decent look there, but uh, couldn't get it to fall. So we have played three periods here in John O'Neill Gymnasium, and it's the Onantucka Wheel is 41, and the Mashby Falcons uh, 32. So uh, who would have thought that uh, Nantucket could uh, get themselves in this position? But they got themselves in this position now, but this game is far from over. We have a whole quarter to go here, and uh, we know Mashby, 10 and 2 coming into this game, can run a, a, an 8 0, 9 0 run right off the bat here. So Nantucket's got to stay calm, cut down on the turnovers. The turnovers have really hurt them the last two or three times down there. They, they could have they built on this and made it a bigger lead than it is. Yeah, and on the other hand, uh, Mashby's really hustling too. I mean, they're, they're relying on a lot of outside shots, but they're hustling on defense and creating those turnovers as well. Um, but Mashby, Mashby plays in a tough, tough league, and uh, I think they're third in their league, I think, Rockland, uh, Cohasset, and then Mashby. Uh, but this is a big game for Nantucket. If Nantucket can pull this game out, 
um, I think it will do wonders for their season. Confidence wise, those Conf kinds of things. Confidence wise would be the big thing, right? If, if they so. can, if they can beat Nashville, a team that they got destroyed by on the road, second game in the year. You know, a lot changes between your second game and your eleventh game. You know, you you got new rotations. You got kids now with experience, and it's showing tonight. That, you know, rotated through a lot of people, and uh, I mean, how many? The Nantucket's gone, what, 10, 10 deep with, with their bench? And uh, mm -hmm. there's been no significant drop-off. The only big drop-off I saw is when uh, Terrell come out. He certainly is the key because uh, not only is the big guy, but he's a big guy on fire tonight. And uh, Nantucket wants to keep him in the game and keep him on fire. When he's in there, Nantucket is a real good club. And having said that, he's, um, he's not in foul trouble either, Terrell. No. All right, one more quarter to go here. Ooh. Pereira almost had the steal, but he got, got it with his toe. So the shot clock is reset. Ooh, what a play there. Good defense there. Tip yeah. the ball off of off the finger and out of bounds. You don't get that call very often. I was very fortunate to get that call. Well, it started with good defense. He played good defense, and anything can happen. A lot of dribbling too much there. Nice pass into the middle, find the open man. Nice shot. It's a high percentage shot, good rebound throw. Don't put it on the ground. That ball up high. There's the pass that's Mashby's, killing Mashby's them. hustling. Yeah, that's the pass that's killing the Whalers. You can't make the lazy. You... Timeout, timeout, timeout. Turnover. Yeah, they gotta call a timeout here. As you can see, Maspie's trying to pick up the tempo here. Yeah. He should have called a timeout right then and there when he realized he couldn't get it over the line. But Niataka cannot make the e I call it a lazy pass. He cannot make that easy pass in the lanes because Maspie, as you say, has picked up the tempo and, they, and they're cutting off all those lane passes. You gotta make strong passes and you gotta bring it up the court in a hurry. Nice pass to the corner. You can make that good rebound, Nantucket. Alfred. Uh. Ooh. Good foul there. Good foul there. You make sure he doesn't make it. Nantucket got a break there because I think the uh, the guy that made the pass should have taken a shot. He, he, he made that extra pass, which gave Nantucket a chance to. Uh, cut him off and foul him before he made the shot. Well, not only that, I think he passed it to the wrong guy. If he passed it across the court, down where the square is, where a guy was, would have been an easy lamp. Instead, he passed it to the guy that was in the middle of the lane. Manic Marine, Yamaha Seals and Service Storage Facility, proud sponsor of Will of Sports. Now it's down to seven here. Nantucket has not gotten a good shot in the last two or three sequences. And here's another turnover. Yeah, too many turnovers. It, yeah. Just got to slow it down, try to control the game with good passes, good ball fakes, and a high percentage shot. Get it inside. Nice pass. And one, and one, and one. Oh. oh, he got pushed, he got pushed. Tough break there. The yeah, foul sometimes wasn't Terrell. seen and then the, the ball goes in and rolls out. Yeah. They're still alive though. That'll be a non-shooting because the push came on the pass in. It was on the floor. Before, uh, before Terrell could get into a shooting mode there. Good hustle, Nantucket. Yeah, right, great job on the boards. Yeah, right now, though, Mashby has really stepped up the defense here. Yes. They re you really got to earn it now. And you got to take advantage. Be interesting if Nantucket scores here.
Time out. Time out, Will. They've stepped it up. Nantucket's made a lot of easy passes, and Mashby is just attacking the ball each and every time. Yeah, I think Nantucket already has, I'm just guessing, but uh, estimated probably six or seven turnovers just in this quarter alone, um, you know, in the first four minutes. Yeah. Two minutes. So okay. now it's a five point game with six minutes to go. It's the, the flow of the game is certainly turned around and is in Mashby's favor. Even though Nantucket has a five point lead. The, the flow of the game is in Mashby's favor. Willis is going to try to talk to them over there and uh, basically you just tell them to, to calm down and watch the, uh, the, the lazy passes, the soft passes, because Mashby is attacking all the uh, passing lanes. Yeah, they're picking up the uh, tempo, Mashby is, but uh, you know, Will will get them going, I think. Will settle them down and uh, make some better passes, I think. Check out the new and used vehicles out of Don Allen Ford. F-150s, Explorers, Escapes. And check out the Quick Lane Service. Bring it in, Quick Lane Service. Bring it out, they're all service. Make sure you have antifreeze in your vehicle. Unless it won't be starting tomorrow morning. All right, Bo, let's see if uh, this timeout gets the Nantucket back on track. They need a hoop here in a hurry. He got himself underneath there, and he, he was wise enough to uh, try for the uh, reverse shot, and he, he picks up the foul, gets himself to the free throw line. That's his first miss today. Got to make these free throws. And he makes that one. So, Carlos keeps up his good shooting, makes one out of two. Leads back up to six. Yeah, oh, it is a turnover. So Mashby gets very, very lazy in that pass. Here comes the pressure, though. Here comes the pressure, yeah, 2-2-1. Two, two, I think what it needs to do is uh, maybe put Will back in the game here pretty soon, just as a ball handler, yeah. uh, shooter. There's Carlos again, going hard to the basket. Oh! And Halford. Halford working hard on the glass. Great job, the nice, nice move to the basket there, and then good offensive uh, rebounding when the shot was missed. Only good things happen when you go hard to the basket. And Carlos Chavez did a really good job. Last yes! Time, guys. Riley Fasaro with three. A three. Big bucket. What a big hoop there. Gets it back to nine. Riley has such a nice touch. Yeah, that couldn't come at a better time. That also was a nice pass inside. That's Terrell's second foul. Terrell gets called for a push on that, but this is only his second, so no need. These fouls are brought to us by Nantucket Island Pharmacies. They've got you covered in town and out of town. 45 Main Street, 122 Pleasant Street. So he makes his first, he's gonna get a second here. Yeah, both teams are in the bonus. Keep ball up high. Another turnover. Yeah, horrible. You just, you just can't make that pass like that. They're, no. They're just throwing it right to uh, Mashman. Turn it face to out, a boy. Good job. Good call. They got, they got Good the time, call by they Willis. They got the timeout that time. They got the timeout that time. That's what they should have did last night through it. Call the roll on the court, sir. With no possession, with no one touching. Tell the ball. The Mashby coach is very upset on that call. He's saying that the timeout came after the ball got out of the hands. But uh, the referee didn't see it that way. And, uh, 
Well, what I saw, I mean, I heard her roles call timeout. Whenever you hear someone call timeout, blow the whistle. Yeah. Whether it's on balls on the floor or not, I don't think it really matters. Yeah. You said it loud enough where the official well, heard it and blew it. The referee, as soon as the referee heard it, he, he, he called it, right? He, 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 as you say, he didn't look around seeing who was calling it. We could have called it up here. <laughs> We really got ourselves in trouble. <laughs> I gotta be good. I gotta be on my good behavior tonight. I don't. I don't. I don't, don't want to get yelled at. I heard. I heard. I'm on the cop I, I don't. I, don't I, wanna get... I spent my years yelling at the ref, so I can kind of cool out up here. <laughs> Let it go, Bo. We can. We can. Chill, we can chill up here and. Uh... Nashby again, a full court pressure. I heard the coach call 100. Whatever that is. Let's go hard to the basket. Oh, just go up. One dribble to out. Travel. Yep. Jarrell needs to go stronger to the basket. Once he yeah. makes that decision, just go hard and go strong, and good things will happen. Plenty of time left in this game. Wow, such a little acrobat such game. Such Riley. Cesaro. He hustles for his own rebound. Ooh. Ooh. Riley got the look he wanted. Yep. And Will Ferrer's coming back in the game for Carlos Chavez. Okay, now we're really at the crunch time now. Under four minutes. Nantucket's lead is down to six. Terrell picks up his third. Picks up his third. Wills Ferreira saying, you can't call that a shot. He's not gonna make it, but the shots he's been making, he probably could make it. <laughs> Couple of free throws coming up. We got a five point game. Free throws brought to us by Harbor Fuel Oil Corporation. Over 40 years of dependable service. Peace of mind, Harbor Fuel. Yeah. Here comes Mashby. Full court press. It's a, it's a man to man press. Tries to reach around and get it, Cody. Big bucket, nice, yeah. nice, nice bucket. Huge. Big hoop there. Huge. Back up to six. Ryan Allen. Ryan Allen, nice move there. He avoids the pressure and gets it to uh, fall. Nice little floater. Back court. Oh my gosh! Now I am angry. That's the that's a makeup call there because that's four. this official that's four on him. This official has been all uh, I mean this coach has been all over this official and there's the old makeup call so that's what you get yeah. paid back for. Well, one of the good thing about this is that uh, if he did foul, which I don't think he did, he fouled the right guy, Malik Lee. One on one. First of all, it should have been a backcourt call. And second of all, Ferreira was being knocked down. And yep. he gets called for the foul. Is he out of the game? No, no. I got four. I got well, four on he, him. They took him right out. Maybe he is. Maybe he does have five. All right. He's he has fouled five. out. He has fouled out. I had Dennis four. Dennis, just uh, give us a signal. He is fouled out of the game. So now Nantucket's got to play the last 327 without Will Ferreira. So not only is it a horrible foul, it takes him out of the game, which yeah. makes it doubly horrible. That's it, that's it, help out. That's a good ball fake there, Terrell. Good job. Oh. No.
That's Riley Fasaro's third foul. And we're still in the a bonus. Both teams. Yeah. Like you said before, Coach, uh, free throws are really important. Free down throws down are big, stretch. and you can't, you know, if you got the lead, you don't want to stop the clock. And that's what happens when you, when you foul. You, you stop the clock, you give the team the other chance to score. Here comes Mashby. They got it down to four, and they could have got it down to two there. <laughs> Gave a warning to number 23. Well, Nantucket's at a real disadvantage now, Bo, without yeah. their uh, leading uh, ball handler in there. Two point game, Nantucket needs a hoop. Keep your head up, that a boy. Keep your head up, go hard to the basket. Court. Oh. Nice rebound. Big rebound Riley for Riley. Look up, look up, look up. Take it. And one. Oh. That's the way to go hard in the basket. Good job there by uh, Justin. He just couldn't get it to roll in. But he's going to get himself to the free throw. That would have been huge if he could have got that one. That would have been in. huge. Great couple of uh, passes there to get Justin down. Hustling. Man, it's really hustling from defense to offense. That transition game. Really impressed at how they get up and down the court. These free throws brought to us by Congdon and Coleman. Big. And speaking of insurance from Congdon and Coleman, Justin gives Nantucket a little insurance here. Got it up to three here. Justin's one of their best, or one of their better free throw shooters. He's the guy you want on the line. Yes, two big free throws. And Tucker's lead back to four. Still plenty of time left in this one, though. Mashby, man to man. Oh, oh, there it is, there it is, there it is. Finally called it on him. The coach and the player cannot believe it. They finally called it on him. That's Mashby's second timeout. Ryan Mashby. Allen goes to the line. So with 2.05 to go, Allen's gonna go to the free throw line. Right now. Listening in on the Mashby coach there, you're picking up some of it. And uh, is he sort of losing a little bit of control of the game, his team or the game? Or, 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 um, I'm, I'm no, reading into that. I don't, I don't, I don't see it that you way. Don't see I, it I, th that I way? think okay. he, um, you know, he's, he's a coach who um, is obviously very intense and he wants his players to be intense, but he wants them to play smart. He wants them to, to play um, more maturely. You know, without reaching, and, and like you said, three pointers are taking too many threes. As he, so, as he said, his main point there was the last three times down, he, they shot a three pointer. Yeah. And with 2.05 to go, you don't need that. If, right. If there's, you know, 20 seconds left and you're down by four, then that probably becomes the, uh, the play. But, all right. Last time the attacker went to the free throw line, they made a big two. Okay, Ryan Allen here. Let's see if he can uh, 
make this first one. The first one is oh so big. Doesn't go. Well, here comes Mashby, trailing by four. This kid's tough. Unbelievable. It's Cody Hendricks. Cody Hendricks goes through the whole team and gets bumped. Who's that on, Terrell? Terrell. Willis, uh, Willis is thinking that uh, he gets fouled. Nantucket's lead is down to two, down to one. So Nantucket had it up as high as 11, but now it's down to one. Right now the official's talking to Cody there. When he doesn't get the call his way, he, uh, Okay, Nantucket needs a hoop here, bad. That's a good that's way to go. That's the way to go hard to the basket. Yes. Nash, Nashby has their first lead since the uh, second quarter. Nice rebound. Well, good now, rebound. See, now that really all started with Carlos Chavez going strong to the basket. Strong to going the basket, hard. Carlos. And then you have Terrell there cleaning up. Terrell cleans up the miss. And now Terrell has a chance to tie or put Nantucket ahead. He's going to get two. Yeah, these are big right here, Terrell. These are big. This is the first, Island Lumber. One purpose road, go whalers. Rain or shine, Island Lumber is always on time. Terrell needs to make the second for the tie. Free throws are so important. Misses two, so Mashby's gonna hold the lead and get a chance to build on that lead. It's tough, coach. Come on, guys. Cody Hendricks. Talk about carrying the team on your back. Yeah. Especially down the stretch. All right, you gotta look in for Terrell. You gotta look, you gotta look in. Terrell's gonna get in that block. Nice pass inside. Go hard, Terrell. That's a foul. That's a foul. Back inside to him. Nice pass. There you go. And one. Uh, and you got foul. See how Terrell's kind of moving away from the basket? He's gotta go stronger to the basket. Especially when there's contact. Clock is uh, reset at 30. That's All a good. Right, that's so a good timeout. For timeout now. You uh, set up for the three. They got a couple of three-point shooters in. Mainly Riley Pereira's not in there, but Riley's hit what a couple already in this game. You set up and go for the three right away, and set Terrell and Justin down underneath. Or do you uh, go for the two and get back on defense? Well, it's a, uh, it's a one possession game with that three. So uh, you can take some time off the clock here a little bit just so that Mashby doesn't uh, come down and run right away and get a couple buckets. Just kind of control everything. I know, I know that Mashby's playing man to man and it's, it's tough without uh, Will in there as far as a good ball handler. But uh, you want to get it inside, um, maybe to Halford or, or Terrell, but you, you got to go hard to the basket, two guards too. A, th a two wouldn't hurt you right now. Two, you can get a two, come back, play some great defense. You don't need a, necessarily need a three. How many points does uh, Cody Hendricks have? <laughs> Cody Hendricks, a lot, coach, a lot. <laughs> I'll give you a chance to count him up here because he is the whole team on offense. All right, so it'll be Nantucket's ball underneath. They reset the shot clock to 20. I thought they uh, reset it to 30. Cody Hendricks has 31 points. 31 out of the 52 points, Cody Hendricks. And he, it's a fair to say he's probably the smallest on the team. There's probably another couple his height, but he is the, uh, he's, he is the little guy out there. 
And watery it, shots, he just sort of floats them up, and he's so soft on them that he gets the roll. You know, it's he's got they're, they're not all swishes. Yeah, he's got good body control when he gets bumped or as he goes up. He lets the ball leaves his hand very softly and bounces on that rim and just goes in. And he's got a bunch of uh, steals. Yep. We don't have those stats in front yep. of us. He creates contact as he, he almost anticipates it's going to happen and then All right, lays it off. Let's see what Willis what we drew up here. Down by three, 33 seconds ago. They can hit it Riley in the corner for the three and they can give it to They're Terrell going to Terrell. Underneath. They're going to him. This Riley to the three. No. Good hands. Should be Nantucket's ball. Nantucket's ball. 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 32 <laughs> seconds. <laughs> the Mashby coach was trying to yell the time out in there. All right, still plenty of time here not to take the three. They opted for the three that time, but they took the two away from Terrell. Right. Let's, let's see if they take the two away from Terrell again. Riley had a good look at the basket. They got a pick and roll here. Pick, roll to the corner. Oh, and Riley oh. in the corner. That will ice it. That will do it. Five point. They gotta, they gotta take the three now. And then tuck it. A valiant effort there, but yeah. they just came up. It's a good game. You know, Nantucket, I think, had a 47 41 lead. So that meant that they got outscored 13 to 2 over the final yep. uh, four minutes. I'll give you a second here to tell us the scoring for Nantucket. We know the scoring for the other side 31 points for Cody Hendricks. And. Uh, Ashby comes back and basically steals a game from Nantucket. The big turning point was Will Ferreira getting called for that foul, which uh, we don't believe was a foul. Coach Ferreira doesn't think it was a foul. Once he went out of the ball game, Gino, yeah. it, it, it became a, a, a concern for Nantucket to get the ball up the court. And when they had trouble getting the ball up the court, that just fueled into Mashby's defense. And as I say, Mashby ended the game on a 13-2 run. And uh, you know that, that's that's tough. That's tough being down 13-2. And uh, so Bo has done all his counting here, Bo. Tell us uh, how Nantucket fared on their side of the ledger. Uh, for Nantucket, Ryan Allen had two points. Keith Lewis had two points. Riley Fasaro had seven with one three. Um, Will Ferreira had nine. Carlos Chavez had eight. Justin Halford, six. And last but not least, Terrell Correa had 14. So. Well, good effort. You saw a good effort by the team here. They, they are improving. It's a tough loss, but they, they can build on this. Yeah, they sure can. I, I really like the way that they hustled out there today. Um, like you said, a lot of turnovers, um, but uh, they never stopped hustling. Um, and I like the way that Coach uh, Ferreri really used his timeouts wisely. Um, I like his rotation of players. And uh, I mean, they were right in it, you know, right up until the last, what, I'd say tough. three minutes left in the game, tough, maybe. Tough, tough loss, you know? real tough I think yeah. Tech was up by, I would say, well, they were up 47, 11 at one point. 11 earlier, 11. and then even 47-41, at, at around the time that uh, Ferreira filed out, and that was, that was huge. So we thank our buddy Bo for uh, calling tonight's game, stepping in for us. Gino Gang on camera. This is Dick Herman saying good night for Gino TV 99. And remember to put a smile on your face each and every day, even if you have to laugh at yourself. Go Celtics. We need a victory from those Celtics. Come on, Celtics. Celtics. Let's go. <laughs> yes! <laughs>